diagnosed about 10 years ago and I ended up uh, in the hospital for like 28 days and lost the ability to feel from the waist down. So. It's kind of like hot water running down your legs with um, with knives stabbing you, <laughs> if you can imagine that. Um, and so that nerve pain is constant. Um, uh, my legs are like really heavy, so when I go to walk, it's like picking them out of cement just to lift them up. And mostly I have a um, harder time with my right leg, and it... Um, it tends to drag, so if I'm not careful, like it will trip trip me because I'll trip on my foot because it won't pick up. And um, muscle spasms, I have a, like uh, uncontrollable muscle spasms, and mostly in my legs, but mostly in my right leg. But sometimes my whole body will shake, and it will just shake, and I can't stop it. <laughs> doing cartwheels after this. Yay, yay. My brother Casey had a friend who had a friend that had this stem cell done and it was life-changing for her and so we were able to get a hold of her and and find out about the stem cell research center and that's where where we are today. Uh, we're gonna meet with them. Um, they told me it's a three-day uh, process so we're on day number one where we we're gonna do a pre-op and then um, tomorrow is the treatment and it's like a five to six hour treatment and what they do is they um, remove they do like a mini liposuction and they remove your um, stem cells and they clean them purify them and purify fly the blood and then they put them back into you and when they put them back into you they uh, they told me yesterday that I will be awake and that um, is through an IV, and the IV will actually um, stop the myelin sheath, stop the immune system from attacking the myelin sheath. So it will, it will basically slow down and stop the progression of MS. And now, so they'll, the first one is through the IV, the second one is through the nasal cavity, and the third one is the lower back, um, but not touching the sc spinal cord. And then um, they said if I needed extra, they could put them in my, in my foot for the leg dragging and they can put it in a bladder and other places if you're having issues there. Okay, here's me and Laura on our way to stem cell therapy office. For what are we doing, Laura? this very cool ride back here in her wheelchair. <laughs> Hello. So, how are you feeling, Laura? Excited. Oh, excited? Yes. Okay, feet. You guys are getting new life to you. We're very excited. Yay. Hi, Laura. Right. Thank you, Dr. Shelton. Uh -huh. Laura's only had the liposuction portion. I haven't reinserted yet, but this is her foot, her right foot. She can feel her right foot for the first time in years. So exciting, can't wait for the new stem cells. This is Laura's foot that didn't move last night. Look how much I'm moving your toes. Now do some round circles with me. Laura, go the other way. Oh my gosh. I'm my mom's only son, youngest baby, 
Uh, I've been a mama's boy pretty much all my life. <laughs> She's uh, always been there for me and uh, always made sure that I was on headed towards the right path, even if that wasn't where I was headed. And uh, she's always been there for me, so I always want to be there for her and make sure she has everything she needs. Um, when she was diagnosed, it was uh, it, w it didn't really hit me at first. When uh, I heard of everything and I knew something was going on, it was I was you know one of those dumb teenagers that didn't really understand what was going on and wasn't really all there for. Her. And you know it. It's hurt me to this day that I'm not, I haven't been, and that I wasn't. Um, but you know, I, I, I would say within a, you know, a couple of years of realizing that this is permanent, this is serious, and I really need to step up and do something about it. And uh, that's, that's basically when I changed and tried to help out as much as I could. And by getting a job, being independent, and doing anything I could to help her around the house or any anything anything that anything possible time you didn't feel nerve pain? Oh, I can't even remember. Oh <laughs> my god! A long time ago. Yay, look at those, our feet! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! We did it! Ready? Yep. I'm standing! Okay, let's see how you do with your walker. Alright, let's see. Look at that, man. Wow! That was like lifted up. Called sore and tight, but I'm doing it, doing it, we're doing it. All right, will you come over here and wow, wow, <laughs> we'll send that to Chelsea so she can see. Yeah, tight, but like a different tight, like a different tight, yeah, like sore muscle tight, sore muscle tight, yes, that's a totally different tight. Did it yeah. <laughs> my first walk <laughs> after. The treatment. It's too ambitious to go to the juice place on no, my scooter. No, 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 let's do it. I really want to go to that juice place. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I've never been filmed this much in my life. <laughs> You're a celebrity. I'm getting pretty good at it. Yeah, I you think. are. That's excellent. <laughs> I'm not shy. I used to be like really. I I did a um. A happy anniversary for one of my friends <laughs> for Honda, and. Like, I was so nervous, and you could tell my, like, my, um, voice went really high, and, like, I was, like, shaking while I was doing <laughs> um, She liked it, and I'm like, never again am I going to do that. <laughs> so, I sent you a video in the car, Tavian, of her talking about the nerve pain. And you know how, you know how the li this leg was shaking? I was having so much pain, like, in here, here. Right now, I can't. There's nothing. Tell that it's not there. I mean, that whole hip thing. Yeah, that whole. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's tight, and my hips are tight, and everything's mm -hmm. tight, but I don't awesome. have the excruciating pain that I had. So he's gonna be so excited. See, you know, and from what he said, like 
you know, you notice things and then they, you notice more things and more things and more things. So, you know, this is just the beginning. Yay! I have to hug you because I'm going to cry again. I just keep crying. It's huge. Oh. I'm going to cry too. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy too. You've just been amazing. Oh. It's been such a long time. Oh, it's been so long. It's been years. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm going to hold it together now. <laughs> crying is good. It's I know, but we're supposed to laugh. <laughs> it's good crying, though. Ooh, we don't know what the crying works for. We even know the laughing does. Okay. Good crying. Good crying. Good crying. <laughs> So today I went in and they talked to me about how to care for myself uh, in the next couple of weeks and through diet and supplements and to take it easy and not to do too much and make sure I get a lot of rest. They checked my uh, little incisions and made sure they're healing cor correctly and everything is good and um, they basically just said take it easy and rest and I'm in, I've checked out good so I'm happy to be home <laughs> things um, I feel for the most part like I feel great I'm tired and I'm sore but that's all to be expected but I feel stronger I think my legs are stronger I'm walking better I don't have any nerve pain in my legs and um, I can feel my foot and I, I, I can I can feel this foot and it's doing much better um, I feel good <laughs> pretty good so it seems like a long time but it's only been three months um, since I had it done and I have more flexibility I'm stronger um, uh, my balance is better, um, I can drive, my foot moves, my ankle moves, um, I'm really excited. <laughs> So right after I had it done, the nerve pain completely disappeared and I was skeptical. I thought, well, it's probably going to come back. It hasn't come back. <laughs> I'm less in awe about that because like, I, I don't have the nerve pain anymore. I'm sore because I'm building muscles and I'm walking more and I'm doing more and so I feel like I'm like a athlete because <laughs> I'm really sore. But the pain is like so much better. But the thing is too, it's only been three months and at the stem cell place they said not a lot happens before four months and you, you can continue to heal up to a year. So I just think it's just going to be getting better and better and I'm so excited to see how much better it gets. <laughs>